Now, should an apprenticeship be worth the same as a degree? Well, that's the recommendation of a review out today. Mm -hmm. And we know at least one man who would support it. We do. We first met Sir Willie Hawhey in March. And since then, he's kick-started an apprenticeship revolution. And Declan Lawn has clocked in for work to see what Sir Willie has achieved. Youth unemployment here in Scotland is running at 100,000. Across the whole of the UK, it's just short of a million. Now, Sir Willie Hockey wants to make a major dent in those figures, even if it means doing it one job at a time. We first met Glaswegian entrepreneur Sir Willie on The One Show in March this year, where he told us about his apprenticeship scheme. So far, he's funded work for 87 unemployed young people on two and three year apprenticeships. Young people come into your business, stops you from being stale. They bring a freshness, they bring new ideas, and they really um, reinvigorate a business. Now Willie's set up a scheme called Youth With Hope, where he's encouraging other businesses to take on apprentices. Tonight, he's speaking to leading Scottish entrepreneurs to convince them to sign up. What I'm trying to do is take a huge problem and break it into a million small pieces. There is 4.8 million businesses in the UK. If only one million of these businesses that are making profit, if we can convince them to take on one young person, hopefully we can make things better for the young people today. So thanks very much for listening to them. This whole initiative to bring people in employment back in is, is a fantastic private sector initiative. It's a different approach uh, and, and it takes it away from a government issue and a social issue to being something of empowerment going back to industry and asking them to take responsibility for what needs to happen. One of the many unemployed youths was Liam Boyle, who left school at 15. Until three months ago, he was homeless and living in hostels and his girlfriend was pregnant. Didn't have a job, didn't have any prospects, basically didn't have a future. Just two weeks after moving into a council flat, he was given a job as an apprentice gas engineer at one of Willie's companies. Now I've got this apprenticeship and learning how to deal with customers and uh, learning a lot about boilers, learning about central heating systems. I've got a career for life, basically. It's four days since his speech to Glasgow's business leaders and Willie is following up on some interest in his Youth With Hope scheme. So what are you hoping to get out of this meeting today? You, you want him to accept at least one apprentice, is that right? Yes, I think he already has. I'm hoping to convince him that he may be taking one more. Right. He's a big enough business. James Mortimer owns several bars and restaurants in Glasgow city centre. Like Willie, he started at the bottom and worked his way up. I started as a barman to move up the ladder and all these people here get the same chance. It's an apprentice chef you've decided to take on, is that yes. right? Yes, bringing an apprentice chef on. So that'll be someone who'll come in here for, what, two, three years yes. and leave as a qualified? He'll leave as a qualified and if he wants to stay on, there's a position here for him. Because that's one of the criticisms. Yeah. It's fine to have apprentices, but what happens after the three years? The job's here and they can prove themselves to come through the ranks and move up the ladder. He was telling me in the car on the way over he's going to try and uh, persuade you to take two apprentices, not one. Well, seeing it's coming up, we're a busy, busy period. Yes, I'll agree to take two on. That's fantastic. I think you should shake on that. Yeah, you? I'm going to. I'm going to hold him to that. He's a man of his. He's a man of his <laughs> word of anyway. Words. But here's a lovely Christmas present for two kids. In just three weeks, Willie's new scheme has signed up more than 250 young people. Have there been any parts of it that have been more difficult than you expected? I've got no doubt as we go forward, some people may throw up, you know, some negative comments, but ho I, I can't wait to hear them so that we can bat them off. Because for me, for every business that can afford to take on a young person, this is a no-brainer. There's not enough people like Wally Hockey. It's changed my attitude towards life, basically.